Tonight, we have with us a man who you might recognize from Samantha B. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. He wrote the theme song to John Oliver show. And he is the pride of Cleveland. Give it up for Dave Hill! Hi, how are you? I'm incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, stop it. Come on. Give, your, give yourselves a hand. No, come on. Give yourselves a hand. Um, so those of you who have been following my career from the very beginning are well aware. This is my first time at Bowery Electric since in post-pandy times. So I wanted to come out here with guns blazing like a motherfucker. So I went to Guitar Center today. I've been hanging out at Guitar Center a lot lately, actually. I like to go in there and just rip some fucking solos. There'd be like some kid in there like playing the guitar, playing like Ed Sheeran or some bullshit, and I'll be like, give me that fucking thing and sit the fuck down. And then I'll just start ripping some sweet solos. And then he's like, I want to get out of here, mister. I'm like, you should sit the fuck down. And then I just keep, keep ripping some sweet solos. And then he's like, you're scaring me, mister. I'm like, you're damn right I'm scaring you. And then I just keep ripping some sweet solos. And then he starts crying. And then his mom comes in, and she's all pissed off. But she's also, like, kind of turned on because of all the sweet solos I've been ripping. <laughs> and I like Guitar Center because it's the only store I can think of that can get away with vaguely threatening radio ads. Like, they'll have, like, the guy with, like, the low boomy voice. He's like, Guitar Center, come on down. You get it anywhere else for less than we'll kick your fucking ass, you piece of shit. And it's like, hold up, Guitar Center. I just wanted a pack of strings. I don't want any conflict. I'll pay a full price. Or they'll make these offers that seem like a little too good to be true. They'll be like, Guitar Center, this Memorial Day weekend, come on down and spend over 500 bucks and we'll let you take Chris from the keyboard department in the back and do whatever the fuck you want with him. It's like, it's like hold up a second, Guitar Center. I was just thinking of getting the ukulele from my niece. She's so an interest in music. Or uh, Guitar Center, this Thanksgiving. Come on down and buy any guitar and amp combo and we'll let you take Don, the floor manager, out by the dumpsters and humiliate him in front of his whole fucking family. It's like, hold up a second. I went to high school with Don. I don't want any part of this. He's a good man. Guitar Center. You remember that kid, Danny, that vanished the summer after junior year? He's been in our basement this whole fucking time. Come on down and put cigarettes out on his face. It's like, hold up a second. I'm, I'm losing interest in music real quick, Guitar Center. It's a weird store is my point, but I got all this stuff. Before I, uh, before I continue going further, any, is there any requests? Wait a minute. Continue. Uh, is there any, any requests? Anyone have any requests? Any song from Free Bird? Okay, but I'm playing the whole song. Okay. If I stand with you, not you. It goes on from there. Thank you. Um, any any other song? Kansas. Okay. Oh, wonder. Well, uh, two days. You, know, you get a sense of it. Thank you. Um. Any other? Any other? So, uh, uh, Van Halen. <laughs> Sorry, I blacked out for a second. Um, 
No, we, uh, we, we, we should keep moving because I want to leave time for the Q&A. Um, <laughs> as those of you who have been following my career from the very beginning are well aware, I'm a hopeless romantic, but I mean it like in the old-fashioned sense, right? Like I dream of meeting like a really great girl and we start dating and everything and, and like really getting to know each other until I know like she's the one, right? And then I finally work up the courage to ask her dad how much money he'll give me to leave town and never contact her again. <laughs> Thank you. He, he knows what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, you know, we joke around a lot here at Bowery Electric, but I want to get serious. I want to get serious for a second. I'm lucky enough to actually find someone to spend the next couple of weeks with, but I want everyone here tonight to hopefully find someone special to spend the rest of your life with. And since we're all getting back out into the world now, I want everyone... Are there any couples here tonight? A couple, couples. But most... All right, so I want everyone to find someone special. So I've taken the liberty of writing some pickup lines uh, for all you single people to use. And these are pickup lines that will work 100% of the time, whether you're a man or a woman or however you identify... Whatever situation you're looking for, these are 100% flawless pickup lines. The only problem is these are pickup lines that will only work in New York City. So, fortunately, we're in New York. Um, um, no, so, um, does anyone here not live in New York? Just by a show of hands. Not, not anybody? Everyone lives in New York. Okay, fuck, fuck people that live elsewhere. No, but I do. In case anyone moves, I do have a, a pickup line um, that will work for you. And I'll point that out. Um, if, you're, or if you're in another city, you can try it out. But um, I thought I'd play a little mood music to sort of set the tone a little bit. You're just coming in. These are pickup lines. Oh my god, my lip touched the microphone. I'm gonna die. Um, everyone's being careful with microphones now, but why weren't we always doing that? <laughs> They're disgusting. I didn't come out here to change the world. Um, once again, these are pickup lines that will only work in New York City. Are you the Renwick Smallpox Hospital on Roosevelt Island? Be 
because I would like to explore your insides after years of abandonment. For one short thing? Okay. And then we'll go right into the Q&A, I promise. This, um... I, since we're all back here, a while back, I wrote this song. Um, it's about New York. And um, I've only performed it maybe once or twice, even in private. Uh, so, sing it if you know it. <laughs> I want to live in a town that was settled by the Dutch. I want to live in a town where everything kind of sort of costs too much. I wanna live in a town 
Where all the girls are painfully pretty I wanna live in New York City I wanna live in a town Where I never have to drive my car I wanna live in a town Where Dan Smith will teach me guitar you can always guess where everyone lives based on how much applause that line gets. Not, you guys don't live in Manhattan. Um, I want to live in a town where half my friends are gay. I want to live in New York City. You didn't think I could rhyme that one. Here we are. When I walk these streets, I can't keep from smiling. One time I even went to Staten Island No, I won't see you in the Hamptons on the weekend I'd rather move back home to Cleveland I want to live in a town where I can grab a late bite to eat I want to live in a town where I can relieve myself on the streets. You used to be able to. It's a different time. I want to live in a town where the basketball team is really kind of shitty. I want to live in New York City. Thank you. I'm Dave Hill. Thanks for... Uh, keep up the good work.